Right now, Courtney's showing you how to draw a chair in two-point perspective on her Don Gerd's grid, which is very handy. She's drawing a three by three footprint on the on the base of the floor of the grid and drawing the lines up so she'll be able to measure the height of her chair. Now she's going to find a point on one of the planes. She's going to select a plane, trot it over to the wall because this Stongard's grid has provided a nice measuring line so that you'll be able to get the height of everything on your chair. So she's right now dissecting the base, the bottom chair, I mean the bottom square, so that she can find the foot of the chair, which is a six inch foot. So she dissected that 12 inch square in half. Just pulling it through so that she can get six inches. She's now pulling it across from the base so that she'll be able to get the six inch width of her six inch height, excuse me, of her chair feet. So now she's going to dissect another square on the base of the chair so that she can find out the width of her foot. She's doing the same thing, dissecting that square. It's a very handy method. It helps you get exact proportions of stuff. So she's taking that 12 inches and cutting it down to 6. And this is going to help her find the width of the, the foot. So now she not only has the height, but she has the width. Finding her 6 inches there. And on the back. Just gonna have to draw another square. So this will give you a close up of it. Just cross it through and cross it through. And in the middle of that six, pull it through from your other vanishing point. And there you go. There you have the width of all the feet. Now Courtney is gonna go back over to the side of her Don Gerd's grid and select the square right above the one she just used. She's now dissecting this one so that she can find the 18 inches that are required for the seat height. And that's the height from the base of the chair to the top of the cushion. So she's going to draw that out for us right now. That's the seat height. And like I said, that ruler, the point that she's pulling from, is the one that she just drew on the side and she's pulling it from the vanishing point, the other vanishing point, the one that cannot be seen on this grid. So she pulls it back to the other vanishing point because it's on a different plane, back to the vanishing point that can't be seen, pulling it over, she's finding the height of the chair now, so that's a three foot chair. That's a whole entire chair, so. And that's what she's going to do. She's pulling it back to the vanishing point that can be seen. And then now she's just going to connect those two dots, those two lines. Now you're going to be able to see the chair at a different angle, and this will help out a little bit. Um, she's just going to finish up this chair. She's finding out right now um, the width of the armrest. She's going to pull that up. The width of the armrest. And in a minute, she's going to use this width to show the depth of the armrest. And you'll see that in just a minute. She's going up from the base of the back right now to find out where the armrest needs to stop. So she's going to mark that spot and kind of just use that as a little guideline. She's going to pull that up back. Now she showed the depth of the armrest, so she's pulled it to the imaginary line she just drew, she just showed. 
and now she's using that line to connect the two. So now you have the depth of our chair. Now she's going to show the depth from the inside of the chair, the base of the chair. So that's the depth of the base of the chair, cushion included. Now she's showing the back cushion. She's going to pull that down to hit the base depth and pull that across from the vanishing point that can't be seen. And there you have your chair. Now she's just going to go over it with darker lines so that you can see exactly what you've done. And like I said, we've used Don Gerd's grits, which I highly recommend getting. They're extremely helpful with basically anything you do, whether it be interior design or just perspective drawing in general. His grids really, really help out. They make everything a whole lot more simple. They simplify everything for you. So, Courtney's just going back over everything. Like I said, the 18 inches that she's found from trotting over to the other line. And the trotting just really, really helps. You just like find a point on your chair and then just move it over like I showed you. Move it over to the wall, and that's easier for measuring. So, there you go. This is your chair in two-point perspective. Let's see it at a different view so that you can see your finished product. And this is something that you can do at home. There's your finished product. Congratulations, you can draw a chair in two-point. Now we're going to show you how to draw a chair in one-point perspective which is a whole lot easier because you're only pulling it back to one vanishing point. So Courtney right now, she's drawing the three and three by three footprint on the base. Pulling those lines up to the sky again so that you'll be able to find the height of your chair and all the height on everything on your chair. She's going ahead and dissecting the lines on the inside so that she can find the six inch width of her feet of her chair of the feet of her chair, excuse me. Just gonna pull that across. And that's where her feet of her chair will be. Just gonna go ahead and pull that over. Pulling it back, as you can see it. And she's gonna go ahead and do the back, the back um, square as well, dissecting that. Got her six inches. Pulling it over and around. So there you have the width of your feet of your chair. She's going to trot it over. Now you just have the measuring line, which is very helpful. She's trotting that over so that she can find the height of everything. Pull that over. She has the height of, of her chair. And now she's doing the chair cushion. Pull that over. So now you have the chair cushion. And now she is finding the height of her chair. She actually pulled it over to the wall and found the three foot mark. And then with a one point perspective chair, you just draw straight lines across instead of pulling it to a, another vanishing point so it's not angled at all. She's finding the width of her armchairs. Now she's just going to pull both of those back to the vanishing point. She's leaving a little space in the back for the back of her chair. Pulling that over so that the lines meet. Now she's going back through and showing you the cushion of your chair. Now the depth of the chair. Pulling the back cushion down to it. Pulling it over and straight. And that's your chair in one point. Just going to go back through it, make the lines a little bit darker so that you can see what you've just done. But by following those simple steps, you too can draw a chair in one point perspective. It's not as complicated as two, but there you go. And like the only difference is just using the measuring line, but also using the trotting technique like you saw earlier for finding the three foot mark on the chair. Pulling that cushion in, and there you go.